All right, hello everyone. Eric Marks here again with FindingMiddleEarth.com. And today's a big day because about five minutes ago, On One, the software company, released their latest update to Photo Raw, which is Photo Raw 2018. Point five. Okay, they've packed this thing full of some new features. Um, I'm calling this update the convenience update. And that's really because they've taken the time to focus on refining a lot of the elements that On1 2018 already did good. And they took everything in On1 2018 that was already kind of built off of a really good idea, and they just made it a little bit better. And I admire them for doing that because I think we can all agree that companies that take new features and just spit them out just to prove that they can create new technology without refining it is cool at first, uh, but then it's something you just get sick of because there's all these millions of different technologies and different features and different things that are never going to be refined enough to actually use in a real world situation as a working photographer. Because as a working photographer, we can all agree that time is money. And the more time we have, the more money we make. So the more, uh, the faster the processing engine behind our photo editing softwares for doing simple tasks, just like culling through images, all those make a huge difference in our day to day workflow. So I admire them for really taking the time to keep adding uh, speed and performance performance boosts because there's many other softwares out there that have a lot of great cool features and you know the interface is really nice but then when it comes time to actually using it it's a little bit of a nightmare to get through a whole workflow so I really I really like what they've been adding so let's just uh, go down a few of the things real quick I'll, I'll jump into on one they've given me a, a pre-release version so I'll jump into that shortly and show you just a couple of cool features but let's go down the list here and just talk about some of the new ones okay so they've added camera profiles in this update you're all familiar with those so you can actually go through the different camera profiles and see how how it affects the color and the contrast and kind of the built-in profile on the raw file. So that's nice. Uh, this is a big one. They've added LUTs in effects. And if you don't know what a LUT is, it's a, a lookup table. Um, they're widely used in the video world. Kind of hard to explain in this short video, but I would definitely take a look at it. Uh, I will link everything. Uh, I have a big blog post in the description below this video where I have kind of uh, links the on one photo raw videos uh, that on one has made in detail about this stuff I have some thoughts of my own uh, a lot of stuff down there so just take a look at the blog post and you'll see everything in a little more detail um, okay next they have so anyway the LUTs are in sorry the LUTs are in the effects module and you can also import your own LUTs and now they've brought them to uh, the photography world inside of Photo Raw. Uh, they have imp improved brush performance, uh, so it's just more fluid, more responsive. Again, I love it. it it's another another speed boost, and it says here, uh, especially on Windows computers and on larger or higher DPI displays. I have a 5K display, so I have run into issues in the past where using the brush and doing things in real time can get a little jittery and shaky, so the fact that they're continuing to work on the speed, that is two thumbs up from me. Uh, let's see, they have uh, the transform pane has some enhancements, so just some of the, the regular stuff. They've added some more aspect ratio and being able to scale and go down the vertical and the horizontal lines of the video if you need to uh, kind of bend the lines and kind of, you know, work on the distortion of the photo. So they've added some enhancements there. Um, they have faster film strip for culling, and this is, so basically it says using the film strip in develop and effects is now just as fast as it is in browse. That's huge because in, in Photo Raw previously, uh, whenever you'd go from browse to develop or develop to effects, there would always be like a 10 or 15 second little hiccup where we'd have to kind of reload the image and reload the preview. And it'd be a little slower than culling through the images in browse. So I love that they've done that. Uh, literally, I just tried it, and from browse to develop to effects is an instantaneous click. You can see everything. It's perfect for culling in any of the modules now. Uh, so that's another great kind of convenient update, right? Now, but now you kind of see why I'm calling it the convenience update. They're just adding more convenient features and faster features. Uh, okay, this is a cool one. So we've seen this before in some other softwares. I like uh, how they do this. So they've added RAW plus JPEG uh, stacking. So basically there's uh, one little menu item. If you go up to file and you click RAW plus, or group RAW plus JPEG, if you're the kind of person that stores your RAWs and JPEGs in the same folder and you can't stand how it's all jumbled up and every single time you you look at a photo it's the exact same photo one in raw one in jpeg one in raw one in jpeg uh, basically you just go up to file and click the group raw jpeg button 
and it instantaneously groups them all, stacks them on top of each other, and you just see the raw file. If you make a metadata change or a keyword change, it applies it to both the raw file and the JPEG at the same time, so you don't have to worry about having to do two separate workflows there, but it just stacks them up so it's a nicer, easier, more organized, easy to look at workflow. So that's a, a huge improvement there. Uh, let's see what else they have here. Managing and organizing your presets. So you have these uh, nested categories, which are pretty cool. So you can read a little more about that. They have a whole product page. Again, everything will be linked um, to more information in the blog post below. Uh, they have increased uh, stability. So that's under the hood improvements. Again, another convenience thing, just you know, less less product, less uh, app crashes, less hiccups, just more, just faster, faster, faster. That's what I like to see. I like performance much more than I like new features. If it's fast with the basics, I would pick that any day over something with a hundred thousand new features, but it's slow. Um, and then they have background exports. So you can do a bunch of different exporting processes in the background while you're still editing current photos. So you can do like batch exporting and things while you're still in the effects and resize and layers module, all those things. That we don't have to wait for the uh, the exporting to finish. There's a few other cool ones, but again, I'll link that to the product page. Those are the main ones. Those are the the key improvements that they're focusing on. Uh, everything else is just uh, little things that they've added again for convenience and for speed and performance. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into uh, All One Photo Raw here. Okay, so here we are inside of uh, 2018.5. Let's show you here. So there you go, all one 2018.5. And uh, let's just showcase some of the speed here. Okay, let's not dig into a ton of the new features. This is kind of a short video. Uh, so let's do this. Here we are in the browse module. Here's the film strip down here because they said there was a huge uh, speed boost here. So I know that before, when I went from browse to develop, it would take at least 10, 15 seconds to kind of reload the photo and pop up all my uh, settings and exposure and all that stuff, uh, the tools for develop. So first, let's just take the film strip, let's hit the arrows on my keyboard, kind of go through and view some of these back and forth. Okay, that's fast, very good. Now let's quickly just hop over to develop. Boom, look at that, instant. It just it blacked out for half a second, and now we're here, right back with another preview, right back with all of our uh, local adjustments, our preset previews over here. That was just, I mean, it was pretty wicked fast, I gotta be honest. Let's hop into the effects module. Let's go from develop to the effects module here. There we go. Another just instant. It didn't have to reload or black out. Back to develop. Everything is just instant. We can have you know full real time access over our exposure. We can do the dehaze. Everything is just in real time. It's one of my favorite things about All One Photo Raw is that it is just fast. I love the speed. Okay, so there's that. That's uh, a uh, performance and speed boost. I can definitely see that. Well done on one. Love that. Uh, let's hop back to browse and let's see uh, how fast it merges in HDR. Let's just do these two photos here from the D850. I just want the darker one and the brighter one. And let's click the HDR button. I want to see how fast. This normally takes about mm, 10, 12 seconds on my computer. So let's hit HDR. Okay, it says loading images, merging, and maybe five. Wow, look at that. So about five, four or five seconds, an immediate preview of my HDR. Uh, right here in the window, I have the tone and the HDR look. Uh, and there you go. Actually, I, you know what? I picked the blurry images. Let me, I probably shouldn't do that. I messed my focus point up on that one. Let me go down here and pick the, uh, the sharp images. That might be nice. Okay, we'll hit HDR again. And it says loading, merging images. And there you go. That one seemed even faster. There you go. Look at that. I already have this preview window. I can make it full screen. Or Yeah, there you go, if I want to. And there's my tone and color, my HDR look. So quickly, why not? Let's just quickly do this real quick. Highlights. Pump those shadows up, dang. That's a crazy boost in the shadows. Head over to the HDR look. Uh, I'm gonna turn the compression down a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit of that glow because I like my glowy fairy tale look. We'll take the detail down a little bit, make it a little more natural. Let's crank the overall exposure up here a little bit, okay? And not that that's some final result, but look, I mean, that's a really good quality uh, merge right there before you you know before you take it into the effects module and start having some fun. That's really nice. So there you go. That was just super fast. Let's cancel that. Okay, so there's another speed boost uh, there, a performance thing. I love that. Uh, let's just grab one of these photos here. We'll go back to this one. Let's go to the effects module and talk. Uh, see if these LUTs. Here we go. LUTs. I want to take a look at these that they were talking about. Uh, so we have presets and filters. You can access them over here too. Uh, so you can see presets, filters, pane, or you can access it here by clicking add filter. 
Um, so let's go to filters and then let's add LUTs. I'm assuming we can see, here we go, yeah. So we can see the previews over here in the filters pane. Okay, so it's adding everything. You can see it's adding the LUT right here in these little boxes. And what's cool is, even though it's a LUT, you can still treat it kind of like a layer in Photoshop. You can turn it off and on and you can actually mask in certain parts. You can click here and you can you know, use the brush tool and mask everything in. So very cool, I like that. Let's just turn that off. Let's just explore some more of these LUTs, why not? So there's uh, 1983, there's one called Black. Let's just take a look at some other ones. Comfort, all right. Uh, let's see, Classic, where's the Classic one? Right there. So this is just giving you an idea of what of what LUTs are. By the way, uh, on One Photo Raw 2018.5, they give you 50 free LUTs. Uh, I am 99% sure it's 50, it might have been uh, 40 something 50 something but I think it's a, a 50 uh, free LUTs that they include in here and it's just uh, it's awesome that they already include those you can also obviously buy third-party LUTs from anyone and you can import those in here as well uh, what is this plastic punch <laughs> there's some funny names uh, okay cool so that is LUTs I could have sworn I saw one in here earlier that said Lord of the Rings and you know I gotta try that one uh, here's Wild West. That's cool. It's like one of those old, super old negatives. Um, anyway, so there you go. That's that's basically what LUTs are. If you want a bigger view, you can choose this little quick view grid and you get kind of a larger view of all the LUTs. That way you can just scroll through. You don't have to click every single one and view them you know, in a tiny view. So there you go. There's the LUTs. We can just get out of that by going back here. Okay, so we've looked at LUTs. I uh, just did a, a super fast HDR merge just to see if, um, you know, what the speed performance was. And then we looked at the film strip culling. Uh, and then the other thing I was going to show you was, if you are, let's head back to browse real quick. If you do shoot RAW plus JPEG, okay, uh, which I don't, let's go up here, then you would have um, duplicates of all these photos. Okay, you would have like a, a, a NEF if you shoot an icon and then a JPEG and an NEF and a JPEG and it'd be the same photo. All right, so what you can do with that is you can go up here to file and you do this new function, group raw plus JPEG. And if you just click this, it will group all of the raws and JPEGs and stack them on top of each other so that you don't have to, you know, view them all in duplicates like that. It's just a, a really nice, convenient feature. I know I'm going to use the word convenient a million times, but that's just what this is. It's a very convenient update with some uh, very well uh, designed new features and they're they're kind of must-haves too some of the new features they're they're ones that were kind of you know fallen through the gaps before that we might have wished that it had from Lightroom or different things that people complained about from you know Lightroom versus on one or whatever software and, and on one with every update just keeps impressing the heck out of me so all right there you go guys uh, again shake uh, check out the blog post below if you want to get uh, kind of a more detailed um, dives into all these new features. I'll link the videos that On One has produced as well because they've gone down that list that I named off and they've made video examples on almost all those little features. So check out their YouTube channel, they're on there as well. Um, I do have a, a uh, discount, as you guys know, that you guys have used multiple times in the past, that gets you 20% off of On One Photo Raw. Uh, it does not work on the special release pricing. So if you're watching this video after they've already launched the software and after the special pricing has gone away, then use my discount code, FME On One, and it will save you 20% off. Uh, but for right now, they have a really killer uh, pricing. Uh, a special launch pricing, and if you want to know what that is, uh, it is $79.99 if you're a new customer. It's $69.99 if you're an existing uh, customer from an older version of On One or a legacy product like On One 2017. And if you're already an On One 2018 user, completely free. You just open up your software, do the update, and it's all free of charge. So uh, there you go. All right, uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Shoot me an email. Leave the comments below. Check out the blog post. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.